Welcome to the recap of today's Creative Commons open source office hours. We're hanging out on codebuddies.org. Today I've been working on a task relating to the creativecommons.org redesign. We have a page that displays our team members and we want to as much as possible build that page with Gutenberg. So we want to create a Gutenberg block that renders team members who uh, have been uh, categorized as staff or the board of directors, for example. I can show the uh, mock up for this real quick. Let's reopen this. Anyway. So it should look something like this. Our team has, uh, has some title and brief paragraph text, and then a grid of team members, each with their photo, name, and some other biographical information, as well as boards. So these are um, actually part of a taxonomy, a custom taxonomy. And in, in today's work, Instead of user roles, my initial instinct was that they would be user roles. So my task to, has been so far to figure out how uh, we're categorizing users and then how to get the query of users. And it'll converge with work that's being done uh, in parallel over here. We're going to make, make this custom Gutenberg block. So for now, we're focusing on getting a hello world block that displays a message. And uh, furthermore, we'll be then, uh, Shaylee was working on this task to get a query of content, in particular user content, um, and the users who have been tagged by uh, various category uh, taxonomies, user group taxonomy. On the WordPress side of things, we have. Um, it's been a little bit of a discovery process, but there's a custom on our creativecommons.org deployment, there's a custom menu item under the users section of the WordPress uh, admin dashboard. So we've got user groups, and the groups displays uh, custom taxonomy terms, turns out. And then there's on the user profile uh, form, uh, groups uh, edit widget, that you can check off multiple groups. And now WordPress also has roles, but we used uh, custom taxonomy here. So for the time being, we're just going to align with that. We needed to find out how it works. Our WP theme creative commons.org doesn't include that taxonomy by default or the menu items. But today I was able to find the code and a new uh, WWW plugin project that's uh, been around for a little bit. And it defines the taxonomy and kind of the menus and page structures. So here's our new WWW plugin and a couple of related um, files where, where those are created. I, I linked into this issue where we're registering the taxonomy for the user, the group taxonomy for users, and then doing things like adding the menu page and uh, menu items. The remainder of this task uh, will be, I think, clarifying how to run queries against users, WordPress users, and filter the WordPress user by uh, taxonomy. There's a couple of functions for that. I haven't gotten into testing, but there's some um, hope and promising re uh, answers, both in the WordPress documentation as well as on Stack Overflow. So I'm just kind of wrapping up the session today and tomorrow, or in the next um, coding session, we'll be taking a closer look at how the WP user query works and to determine whether or not we can add an argument that allows us to filter by a taxonomy term. Okay, well, this has been a CodeBuddies.org live code hangout for the Creative Commons open source community.